Hello there, Michelle Short here and I'm delighted to be joining you today for the launch of Yana's Ford Basics Collection for Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey. I have three clean and simple projects to share with you using Yana's Ford Basics Project Kit. All of the four dies that I'm using today are in the kit but can be purchased separately as well. So let's get started with this first card. To start off with, I have plugged in the Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil system and I'm just switching it on at the top and the power button has come on at the side. I want to let the platform completely heat up so while that's happening I'm going to get my foiling ready. I have taken the circle die from Yana's Foilage Border Set and also the sentiment that reads Happy Birthday from Yana's Sentiment Set and I'm going to foil them using the beautiful moon dust foil that comes in the kit. So I'm just going to cut a piece of that down to size. Everyone foils slightly differently. I find that it's best if I adhere down the foil and the dies onto the material that I'm going to be foiling onto. I just find that that works well for me. So I've placed the foil down onto some white cardstock and also the foiling die on top. And then I'm going to adhere both of those down onto the cardstock using some low tack tape. So I'm just adding little bits of that at the bottom and the top to make sure that that stays in place. And then I'm going to add the sentiment inside the circle so that I can fold them both at the same time. And that's going to create my sentiment panel. So once that sentiment is in place in the middle where I want it to be, I'm just going to adhere that down as well with that low tack tape, making sure that all of the dies are attached together and the foil is going to stay in place on the cardstock. The platform is now ready to go, so it's all heated up. So I'm going to place that cardstock with the dies facing down and press the timer button. And that light is going to flash until it's completely ready to go. And once it's ready, the light is going to stay green solidly. Sometimes the cardstock does warp a little bit by doing it this way and heating them all up at the same time. But once you've run it through the die cutting machine, there's no problem whatsoever. So I've added a bit of printer paper on the top and then I'm going to remove the platform from the base and then I'm going to add these shims on top and the shims come with the Glimmer Hot Foil system. I'm using both of them for my machine and I'm running that through the Platinum 6. I'm being careful where I'm holding the platform although it doesn't get too hot but you do want to be careful just in case. And then I can remove that piece and also remove the dies and the foil. I got a tiny little bit of overfoiling on the left hand side but I can remove that easily later. Next I've taken two leaves from the same foliage border set and I'm going to foil them with the silver foil that comes with the Glimmer Hot Foil system but you can purchase that foil separately as well. So again I've just added a piece of printer paper over the top and then the two shims and running that through the Platinum 6. I do like to place the platform back into the base so that it's ready to go for next time. Then I can remove that foil and the die, place that down onto the silicone mat. Usually they're not too hot but again do be careful when you're removing those dies. As you can see I did get a little bit of overfoiling between the two leaves. What I tend to do is just use a craft knife and just gently scrape away that extra foil. But you can use a sand eraser as well. Sometimes if I'm very quick I can just get rid of it with my hand. It's just really lightly on the surface so you don't want to press too hard with the craft knife or the eraser. It comes off really nicely but you do want to do that before you do any die cutting. What's great about all of the foiling dies in this kit is that they come with coordinating cutting dies as well. So I have foiled the two leaves with the silver foil and then I've used the moon dust for the two flowers in this set as well. And I'm just going to cut those out with the coordinating cutting dies. Again, I'm just placing a piece of printer paper over the top just to protect that foil. Running that through the Platinum 6 and I've got a really pretty flower. Next, I have taken one of the Circle Nestabilities dies. And that fits really nicely with the size of that circle piece. And again, I'm just running that through the Platinum 6 to die cut that out. 
Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey are releasing new products on the 10th of every month, so do be sure to keep a lookout for new releases. So to assemble my card, I have taken a piece of tin pale cardstock and I have scored horizontal lines onto it with a score board. And then I'm going to adhere that onto an A2 sized white card base using some tape runner. So just pressing that down onto the front of the card base. And then I've added some foam tape onto the back of the sentiment piece and stuck that down at the top. And then I can assemble all of the different elements around it. Some of the elements I'm sticking down with tape runner, other elements I'm sticking down with foam tape. So the flowers I'm adding some foam tape onto the back apart from the one that I just placed down now. And then for all of the leaves I'm placing them down with tape runner. I like to have the different heights. It's a really clean and simple card but I think it's quite elegant as well with all of the different foiling and also the different colours of the foil together. I really like the moon dust and the silver together. So just using some tweezers just to help me place those elements in place. And that's the first card finished for today. Like I said, I really like the clean and simple look of it, but the foiling just gives a really nice elegance to the card. And I think this would be perfect to send to anyone. Next up, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and creating a tag, but I'm actually going to foil onto some heat resistant acetate. So the tag is completely see-through. So I've taken the steel rule tag dies from Fun Stampers Journey and I have cut that with some heat proof acetate or heat resistant acetate and I'm going to foil the Yana's polka dot strip onto that. So I've taken some low tack tape again and added that strip onto the right hand side of the tag. Next I'm going to flip the dies around and I'm going to use that tape like a hinge. So I'm just pulling back slightly onto that tape so that I can add the foil underneath. Again I found this to be the easiest way personally for me to foil and get everything straight. I'm going to foil using the beautiful magenta foil that comes in the kit. This is a really lovely hot pink colour and then I'm going to use that tape just as that hinge and press down the die onto the top and then again I can add that onto the platform here that's completely heated up. And I'm just adding that with the die side down. I can add a piece of printer paper over the top of the tag. And then I can add the shims on top. And then again, I'm just going to run that through the Platinum 6 machine. And be careful while you're taking this off. The foil did stick to the paper and it lifted up the whole of the tag. Thankfully, it wasn't too hot, but please do be careful if you're going to do the same thing. Then I can just peel back that acetate tag. As you can see, I didn't get the best foiling by doing it on video, but in my practice runs, I got a really nice impression. So if that happens to you, please do persevere because you can get a really nice look. Next, I have taken the Best Wishes Sentiment from Yana's Sentiment Set and I have foiled that with the magenta foil again, added some adhesive onto the back of that and sticking that down onto the tag. And then I have foiled the flowers and the leaves again from Yana's Foilage Border Set, the same one that I used on the card and use the silver again for the leaves and the magenta for the flower. I'm just adding some foam tape onto the back of the flower and then adhering the leaves down with tape runner. So just placing them down. Just using some tweezers just to help me out. And then I can finish off the tag with some rhinestones and also some twine on the top of the tag. Obviously you wouldn't be able to write on the back of this tag but what I thought would be quite nice is if you wanted to add it to a present or a gift. I really love the look of the acetate that you can see through it. I think it's just something a little bit different. What I would do is I would add a bit of adhesive behind where the flower is and just adhere that onto a gift and like I said I think it's just something a little bit different. But there will be lots more inspiration using the kit and the products over on the Spellbinders YouTube channel and blog. 
For my final card today, I'm using Yana's Organic Foliage Set along with some ink blending. So first of all, I have taken three leaves from Yana's Organic Foliage Set and I have foiled them onto beach ball cardstock using the gold foil from the kit. And I have cut them out with one of the smaller Nestabilities rectangle dies. I thought the size fit perfectly around these leaves. And I'm going to enhance the foiling with some ink blending. So I have taken the Huckleberry Fusion ink from Fun Stampers Journey. And I'm going to add that around the edges of these cardstock pieces. The foiling does resist any ink that goes on top so it's really nice to be able to add the ink blending on top and not damage any of the foiling underneath. I think the ink blending really enhances that gold foil and you can see there the difference between them. So I'm just finishing off adding the ink to all of the panels and then I'm going to add some sparkle silk on top. This is just going to give even more sparkle to the card and I think it works really nicely with the foiling. So I'm just making sure that that's all well combined and just using the applicator that comes in the bottle and just tapping that over the top and then once I've added all of that on top I can just set that aside to dry. And then I'm going to add my panels onto an A2 sized white card base using some foam tape. And then I have taken the Thank You Sentiment from Yana's Sentiment Set and fold that with the gold foil as well onto white cardstock. I've added tiny little pieces of foam tape onto the back of that and I'm just using a little dab of liquid glue on the left hand side just where it's going to overlap one of the leaf panels. And then I can just stick that down and then to finish off this card I'm just adding a few gold gemstones. And that's that card finished. I really love that added sparkle and also the blue and the gold together. I think that's a really lovely combination. As well as the inspiration that we are sharing with you today, the kit contains four pre-kitted projects so you can start creating straight away. Thank you for joining me today for a look at Yana's Ford Basics collection. Links to the products that I used will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on the blog. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.